General Motors' recent decision to divest itself of its European subsidiaries means that the new Opel and Vauxhall insignia, along with the rest of the company's former assets on the other side of the Atlantic, now belong to the French PSA Group, owners of the Peugeot, Citroën, and the S brands. But the settlement deal also included the equivalent of joint custody, with Opel committed to producing versions of the insignia for GM to sell outside of Europe. In the United States and China, this car will be the new Buick Regal Sportback, while in Australia it will become the Holden Commodore. The turbo 2.0-litre four-cylinder is effectively carried over from the previous model, but it has received a slight power boost to 256 horsepower, up from 246. It doesn't feel quite as enthusiastic as that number suggests it should, though, because the engine has been tuned for everyday drivability rather than all-out pace. Also, like many modern turbocharged engines, it is reluctant to rev far beyond 5,000 revolutions per minute. The weak link in the powertrain is the 8-speed automatic gearbox that comes with the all-wheel drive system, and which proves to be too eager to upshift even when acceleration is needed. Front drive versions of the Buick will have the same 9-speed transmission as the Malibu. Ultimate performance still impresses, but we'll have to wait to run a track test when we get our hands on a production Buick model.